so let's configure the theme in this video okay so we have configured the storybook and initialized the project now let us start working on this project so first step to do is after initializing your project is configure the theme what does that mean if i will go on a figma design then you will find that we have multiple color on our figma design so this is a white color or the background of this button is the primary color as they have specified we have a secondary color also we have a different kind of color for the text dark color or we have a light color okay so these are the colors we have in our figma design okay so generally developer what they do they hard code the color while coding it so suppose hard coding means if i have a color props so just don't worry about the color props as of now okay so i'm just assigning a some color like here six seven eight nine so this is something you do i mean a normal developer will do when they start coding so this is hard coding the color okay so hard coding the color if we are using the same color on the different places then we have we need to hard code this color all the time right we need to hard code this color on this box on the text or every other places right so this is hard coding a color you just have to you are using the color while coding it okay i mean this is not a good practice okay so we have a different color which we already know from the figma design so can we keep all the color in the same file i mean let's put the all the color in a same file and uh, instead of hard coding the color like this we will just reference the color name like uh, which i told that we have a primary color or the secondary color so let's assign a color to the name and let's use that color over our web app so suppose we are using this second uh, primary color over here also we have a primary color over here or we are using this text color the dark color on this uh, text component on this text component also on this text component so instead of writing the code all the time i mean the color code all the time over here like has some color okay suppose we have a different text so instead of writing the color code all the time has some color we will going to keep the color in a theme file okay and we will going to reference that color and use that color over here just like this like primary or secondary or something else as per the color name okay that is a theme okay also we can specify the fonts on the theme we can specify the style on the theme so we will going to do it on this video series but let's create a separate file called theme okay i will just revert back all the changes i don't want it to keep those changes and uh, what chakra ui do generally it giving us a theme that is a default theme from the chakra ui okay now we are going to create a custom theme for us because we have other requirement like we need to use the primary color like this or secondary color like this so we need to create a separate theme for us and let's go and create a separate theme file inside the source folder so this is a theme.ts inside the theme.ts i'm going to import expand theme okay so chakra ui provide us a, a library called extended theme and we are taking this extended theme from the chakra ui with help of that we are going to create a custom theme for our web app okay because we are using the chakra ui so let's use this extend theme to create a theme for our web app okay so let's go over here let's create a variable called custom theme so custom theme okay and uh, let's use this extend theme generally it will take an object okay so inside the object we can provide the colors so we have a colors key and inside the colors key we can provide all the different kind of color we have inside our figma design 
so we have the primary color let's put the primary color first and uh, so maybe it will take a couple of time so what i will do i will put some of the color over here then i will the rest of the thing i will put it uh, later and i will share this theme.ts file to all of the viewers okay also you can find the uh, github link of this project on the description also where you can find this theme.ts from the github repository okay so i will put two or three color here just uh, to show the differentiation then i will put all the color after some time okay so let's go over there let's put the secondary color also so this is a secondary color so let's put it secondary color secondary okay secondary and uh, let's use this dark color it is just a demonstration okay also we have one color let's do it this thing also then i will show you the demo how you will going to use it light color okay so we have added the colors let's export this theme to use it over the app so we are going to export this custom theme and what i'm going to do up after exporting the theme we have to import it over here so let me import the custom theme from the theme.ts okay we did a mistake we have to remove this from okay now it's working so here what we have to do we have to use this custom theme instead of the default theme provided by the chakra ui so the chakra provider use the theme props and in the theme props we have to use our custom theme so as of now if you see in a the theme.ts we just have the colors related theme but later point of time we are going to add the component related theme also so we have another key called components and inside this key we will going to add the components related theme like we have a different kind of text in our figma design so it have a different kind of font and uh, font size also the font style and all 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 thing we need to put inside this theme.ts file it's just starting the app so we are just cons configuring our custom thing so don't worry we will going to put all the thing over here let me just remove the typo mistake light color okay let's see that how we can use it as of now so we have imported this custom thing from the theme.ts and in a theme props we have provided it okay now all the color we have defined over here in the colors key we can now access it over the app anywhere in the app because we have wrapped the thing inside the chakra provider and now we are able to access everything which we provide inside the theme.ts file so let's see that how it will going to work okay so let me remove this theme which is we are getting from the chakra ui and let's remove it and uh, let's do not provide the color over here okay and uh, yeah now we are good to go and let's apply the yeah we have applied a uh, secondary color okay so let's hit the save and let's go over here in our app and let's refresh the page so the secondary color is applied maybe you are not able to see it properly let's use the primary color primary okay. i do a lot of typo mistake so here you can see that the primary color is also applied over here now we can access the color by their name okay we have a different kind of color we have specified over here now we can access it our way back over the app, over the time okay so this is a good thing for us because we are set up the uh, theme.ts file and now we can specify everything on this theme.ts file and use it over the app okay that just for the setting of the color but let's see that how we can set up the component as well the theme of the component as well from the next video we're going to set up the 
theme for the button and we are going to visualize the button component from the next video so here we have the button right we have different kind of button so let's create a button component from the next video then we will see that what we can pick up for the next till that please 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 don't forget to subscribe the channel also like the video share the video to your friend please comment it on a video because right now i'm getting uh, low views and uh, I know that it's a flutter related uh, channel but now i'm making the video related to the react as well so i just need initial support from your side guys please make sure to share the videos and tell your friend to subscribe the channel comment it anyway that yeah how you are feeling about this series so it will motivate me okay thank you guys happy coding see you on our next video